So something else we're going to want to do is to be able to find the inverses mod n of a matrix. So let's take a look at this problem. So here I have a 2 by 2 matrix, 3, 2, 4, 7, and I want to find the inverse, but what we'll do that's a little bit different here is we'll try and find this inverse now mod 36. So our process is actually fairly close to what we do for finding the inverses of a matrix under normal circumstances. We'll use the cofactor method. So first we'll find the matrix of cofactors. So we'll go ahead and put down our checkerboard of pluses and minuses, and then remember that the next step in the cofactor method, we want to find the determinant of what's left over when we wipe out an entries row and column. So for our first entry, we'll wipe out the row and column of that entry, and what's left over, just 7, and the determinant of a 1 by 1 matrix is just the number itself, and that's going to be assigned the value 7 plus 7. So likewise, we'll go to the next row, uh, we'll go to the next entry, wipe out that row and column, and enter it in, and this time we have a minus associated with that value. And we'll keep doing this for the other entries in the matrix, and we'll get our matrix of cofactors. Next, we want to transpose the matrix of cofactors, and then multiply by the reciprocal of the determinant. Now, in real number arithmetic, the reciprocal of the determinant is easy to find. Uh, because we're working mod 36, what we need to do is we need to find the reciprocal, the multiplicative inverse of the determinant mod 36. So we find our determinant first. So our original matrix 3, 2, 4, 7 has determinant 13, and we're in luck. 13 does have a multiplicative inverse, mod 36. We just have to find it. So we'll solve our Diophantine linear equation. 13 times what gives you some multiple of 36 plus 1? And we get a solution x equals 25, y equals, well, we don't really care what y is. That doesn't really matter. So the inverse of 13, our determinant, is 25, and so I'll take my matrix and multiply it by 25 to get the inverse of the original matrix. And remember, we're working mod 36, so there really isn't any reason to carry around large numbers, and I'll reduce those, and I'll get the inverse of the matrix mod 36.